All right. Session 26, I think. 27? What? 28. That's... 27. Anyway. <clears throat> so, last time, um, we started back in Bandolin, I think. Oh, you guys were... No. Yeah, yeah you were working, I better. Can Sorry? you hear me better now? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's better. Yeah, I... So last... Yeah, that's it. So All last right. time, uh, you guys started back on uh, the trail after combat with some goblins. Uh, you uh, jump back on your card, make your way all uh, to like the the spot of the forest that you previously entered to get to the castle. Uh, you camped there, um, missing uh, with Semat missing a bit with Tamara, finding a, a better spot to uh, to camp. Um, and during the night, Semat woke up. Uh, Zook that uh, and like Zook oh, was yeah. already yeah. still a bit um, drunk and tired and Zook uh, Semat didn't really pay attention that uh, Zook was actually like waking up and going on shift uh, so there was nobody on guard for a, a good two hours until uh, Tamara finished her uh, meditation and realized that uh, nobody was on shift and started uh, taking uh, the, the shift for everyone. Uh, in the morning, like everything uh, went uh, good without interruption. Um, in the morning, you guys hit the cart really well uh, in, in the forest, thanks to Semat. And hopefully with the notes he took, he can find it back. I took notes. Uh, I, I took goddamn notes. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how, how well you can read your notes. Uh, and then you guys made your way uh, to the castle, which was very easy with uh, Tamara's guidance. Um, there, you found some weird goblin hanging, like goblin bodies hanging in like position to make it seem like they were still being like manned. Um, you you found also some gear that turned out to be Sildars uh, in the room that Fern uh, like accidentally burned down most of it. Uh, but the gear seems fine, even though, well, <laughs> it was all planned. <laughs> um, and some dwarven brandy that everyone tasted except the dwarf. Uh, you then uh, burst into a door, found an altar uh, did, did, dedicated to the god Maglubiet, the god of the goblins and goblinids. Uh, behind some curtains, you uh, found some goblins that are were probably the one like managing the altar and making apparent sacrifice to it. Uh, you took care of those goblins, but um, suddenly got attacked by a worm, uh, which was hiding in the dark room with the pile of bodies and. The, the worm wasn't too big of a threat, uh, so you guys were able to dispatch it with not too much damage. But then you started hearing more crashing sounds that made its way to you guys. And uh, just as you were trying to figure out what to do, the wall burst open and the creature made its way inside the room with you. Uh, a big uh, oil bear, owl bear. Oil, so oil fast, bear. A, a oil <laughs> bear is all oil. Oh my god. So, uh, so the face of an owl and uh, the body of a bear, and it's really big, 
looking at you hungry like it didn't eat in like three or four days. And that's Pretty where terrible. we're picking up uh, today. I think um, we finished with Zoop turn and it would be Tamara who's up next. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, oh, before oh. that. I, I have in my notes here that before we ended the stream last time, it was the second night I casted my fire uh, orb. Mm -hmm. Is it orb? I'm trying to remember. Yep. It's so technically, orb. technically, it's as his own turn. It's, it's supposed to attack the beast. Oh. It as its own turn? No, not exactly. But I can use I, I can use a bonus action on my turn. But whenever I end my turn, wherever my uh, Flaming Sphere is. Sorry, I was looking for the spell. Uh, if there's anything uh, within five foot of him, when I end my turn, uh, it takes fire damage. Well, it rolls dexterity and uh, it either takes full damage or half of it. I thought it was at the end of the creature turn. Bonus section when you move. Uh, what, am I wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's at the creature. All right. Okay, never mind. I didn't say shit. All right. Sorry about that. I remember we talked about it at the end of the session. Yeah, I took notes, I, but clearly I, wrong. <laughs> it's fine. So uh, we can do that on the, the, the creature turn uh, when we get there. All right. So Tamara, you're up. You have the, uh, the big creature that is making its way looking at you. Fuck cloud. Like, no, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mind everyone, yay! <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, can we pull it into the the trap? Can, can we, I try to speak can, with animal? <laughs> can we push it into the trap? Uh, I don't In think what it's trap? considered as. Ooh, animal. you know what? Oh, it, uh, you looked. It's a, either monstrosity or an abomination. I think, I think it's, it's monstrosity. Monst uh, monstrosity, you yeah. already looked. That depends to uh, uh, to his intelligence. I think uh, uh, some people should be blessed. Yes, they are. Okay. Yep, we are. Yeah, yeah, you didn't touch anything. We are blessed by Kalimbo! So can I talk with this animal? Uh, what does this spell speak with animals say? Okay, it says, it says, to you gain the ability to comprehend, um, uh, to comprehend and verbally communicate with a beast for the duration. The beast. knowledge and awareness of many beasts is limited by their intelligence, but at minimum, beasts can give you information about nearby locations and monsters, including whatever they can perceive or have perceiving within the past days. You might be able to persuade a to pursue a beast to perform a small favor for you. And that's it. So yeah, so, so um it's specific to beast. Oh so okay. This, this is a monstrosity. Yes. It's not a beast. Okay. So yep. Is it a ritual? Yeah. Uh, can I move here? Like Trying to push him, him <laughs> Where? <laughs> to the trap. <laughs> I don't think we can. <laughs> Here. We, uh, well, it's, the trap is on the other side, right? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, there's, there's a wall, so you would have to push uh, him through the to... wall also. <laughs> push Ooh. him through the wall, which would be a very high DC strength or... Because you're, you're, you're against his strength and also against, like, crushing your wall. Okay, so... Oh, man. I'm going to attack him, like, a little bit near. And... We're going to see you. Um... Okay. With my short sword. 
Okay, 17 to hit. I think that does hit, yeah. That does hit? Okay, nice. Yeah. Uh... It, doesn't, it doesn't have any armor, so it's not the most cool. hard thing to hit. We could try to squeeze him, you know, when it's squeezing. We, we have to try to, to him keep, keep like push here the or goal. here and then sandwich him. You know what I mean? Oh, yes. Yeah, maybe we can. And now we'll be our sandwich. Mm. Uh, <laughs> damage is uh, seven points of damage. Damage. Only 300 to go. And my second <laughs> attack. That is my bonus action. Uh, 18 to hit. Yes, the hits. And with the D8, more damage. Uh, 10 points of damage. Good. And I'm going to scream, we have to get back. <laughs> and that's it. All right. So if that's your turn, Fern, you're the next. Yay! This I hope to turn. survive the next turn. I'm gonna move here. Boop. By, 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 but not like going into range with him, which I suppose it's five feet. So I'm just gonna go boop, 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 boop up there. Uh, and I'm gonna shoot it with my long bow. For it. Long he bow. was more careful. <laughs> no. Crap, I don't have my... Oops. One other thing I forgot tonight is... D&D Beyond! <laughs> it's d and Yeah, I know, I know. d, &D. I, still, I can still roll. Long bow. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's uh. Oh wait, I'm blessed. Oh, I'm blessed. Yes. Oh. Eighteen to hit. That hits. Yeah. It's a uh, five points of uh, piercing damage. All right. Yeah. And is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that that's my turn. All right. So you see Fern after Tamara like swing at it. Shoot, shoot. Uh, he takes his bow, shoot at it. Uh, it lodged like in in its shoulder. Uh, it stays there. The beast is looking furious. Oh, like, I thought you were saying it's looking very bad. I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> no, no like uh, he mad. He heard. He entered the the room because he smelled you. Uh, he wanted a quick snack. Now he's mad. No snack. Oh. <laughs> All right, Samat, you're up. Can't see shit. I know. <laughs> uh, does someone need require? Does someone cars healing? Once. Uh, uh, I could go for it. Not for the moment. Okay. But the next turn, spiritual maybe. weapon it is. Give me a spiritual weapon. I summon the spiritual yes. weapon. Woo! So it's gonna be here. All right, because you know it's he finds his buddy uh, the fireball quite 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 uh, cool. Um, cool. That's this is one of, uh, this is a bonus section and as part of it I can try to hit the target. So uh, yeah, that's called DPSing as a cleric. Which is <laughs> the music's very good, by the way. Do, do. Yeah. yeah. Of war. 
I would like to thank uh, Tabletop Audio for the providing the music tonight. <laughs> so it's uh, oh yeah, it's a deep Hashtag not sponsor. No, no. <laughs> Hashtag sponsor Ooh, us, please. That, that's, <laughs> uh, it's an unnatural, unnatural twenty. Okay. Eleven force damage. Nice. And so that's my bonus action. Move, move. And I think as a second spell casting, I can do a cantrip, right? Yes. Um, does he benefit from cover at this point? I don't think so. Uh, well, it depends. Are you trying to make a range spell attack? Because there's a lot of people in the way. Yeah. So, uh, Sacred Flame, the target does not benefit from cover from the saving throw. Uh, so he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Natural one. Yay! That's another D. Yay. That's another five uh, radiant damage. So what's ha what happens is, um, oh no, I don't see the brazier. That would have been so cool. Anyway, I'm doing it. So I'm casting spiritual weapon. So there's a, a black sight coming from the forming from the smoke of the brazier that's there, going slashing the hull there, and from the fire, there's a is like is there's a now the, the fire, uh, the the how do you call it? Amber. Uh, the, the sparks of the fire, the the ember. There's a white light like coming and burning. Oh no, that's not that's not fire. Is there like anyway? It's burning the bear with light. But with divine fire. Yeah, it's divine light. It like it doesn't burn. It's not real fire. It's like just the sensation. Divinity. Pure divinity. Uh, that's so, uh, so, okay. Um, and I'm staying there, I think. I'm, I'm going to stack back a bit. All right. So with that turn, the piece is just like screaming and growling and taking all, taking it all in. Uh, oh, yeah. It, it's taking damage. Take it and uh, next is Cade. Hey, okay. can I do a clear shot with my crossbow from where I am? Um, uh, I would say yeah. Good. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm blessed. You are. So that's 24 to hit. That hits. Yeah. And I have a sneak attack. Oh, uh, yes. And they get it. Kill it. 16 point of damage. All right. Almost so. as much as me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With one attack. <laughs> Technically, Gade. that's two. Gade, using the all the melee that is happening. Fire one shot that goes through like the flaming ball and hits the old bear like in in the chest. The arrow like taking fire and fire is starting spreading on his shoulder. Um, yeah, it's uh, not looking happy, and it's its turn. Can I uh, hide there before you? Oh. Um, 
you're hiding in in the corner of the wall in the shadow of the breeze you're like yeah. right behind yeah go for it that's 20 good and that's it for me all right oops so the owl bear bear owl bear is just gonna attack the first thing he can and so, i'm Tamara. gonna impose the yeah. advantage on that all right Ooh. I think it's a reaction. Wait. Why? Because I have protection. It's but it's a reaction, so anyway. So it's a reaction. It's the the person who gets attacked that needs to be in in range, or it's the the creature. Uh, a creature. You can see attacks a target other than you within five feet. You can use the reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Yeah. yeah. Right. But uh, I think normally I'm saying it like too quickly. The way I read it, it would be like you roll and then I apply disadvantage once I know the roll or I just. No, can it's a reaction. It again? No. You want to read it uh, while wielding a shield? And a creature you can see attacks a target other than you within five feet. You can use your reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Yeah. But you have your bow out. Still have my shield? Do you? Do I? I don't know. <laughs> you just shot you with your bow, right? Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know if he needs to change his uh, weapon in his turn. Yeah, he needs to take out his shield. Oh. Okay. As a reaction. I'll, I'll, I'll... Which is. I don't know. Because <laughs> uh, oh. on, on, your, on your turn, you could have. Take out your shield. I would say. Yeah, but I'll, is it like I'll, the free action is I would have taken out my bow so I wouldn't have the shield. So on my next turn, it would be like I'm wielding shield and sword. Uh, yeah, kind of. It's more like an open or... question. Well, it's yeah, up to I you if so. I can or not. Actually. Um, I'll, I'll give it to you, but next time, like, keep track of what you are yep. uh, Which weapon putting is out and putting in. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. I'll keep track of what goes in and out. Yeah. It's it's easy to put out. <laughs> uh, this is 16 to hit with disadvantage. Ooh. With disadvantage? Oh my god. Yes. Yep, that hits. All right, so he does multi-attack. So first one is uh, he's try trying to snap you with his beak. Um... Where's that? It's 11 points of damage. Okay. And the the next attack doesn't have this advantage, right? It's reaction per per attack. I suppose. All right. So next attack with his claw again on Tamara. That is uh, twenty two to hit. Definitely no, that wait. hit. You roll 22? 24. 24. Yeah, yeah that girl. hit. Yeah, we right. really need to drag him back. Oh, yeah. Mm. Die. So it's disengaged. <laughs> My next movement. Misty step. 
Oh yeah, uh, missed it. you have missed it. Uh -huh. That's another 11 points of damage. Okay. Eleven. Anyone has bird seeds? <laughs> no. It would have been mouse. Little mouse. Little mice, yeah. So you're, I can you're make seeing... the illusion of a mice. <laughs> a mouse. So you're seeing everything like unraveling, everything, everyone like giving it its best on uh, on the monster, and and then he just starts like uh, biting and uh, giving like scratch to Tamara, and, and that's his turn. So Zook, yeah, at the end of its turn, it was hard to get out of the. Uh, sphere at that point. So you can. Uh, what's the DC for the sphere? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Flaming sphere, dexterity 14. 16. Ooh, so he makes the save. Alright, so save means you take only half damage to 1d6 of fire. No, you still roll right. both, but you divide it into. Oh, is that it? Oh, yeah, you're right. All right. You sec. 2d6. I played them. <laughs> That's seven. So half of seven. Reduced to three. Yeah, three. Wow, that's bad. All right. Well, I mean, it's an ongoing thing, so. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So is it my turn uh, now? Uh, Yes, it I is. Fern has a question. Uh, yes, it uh, it says any creature that ends its turn within five feet of the sphere. Might it be a party yeah. pooper, but Tamara is within the five feet. It's no? uh, it's an invocation spell, and so I it's have fine. Okay. a yeah. I mean, I think that's invocation is fine, uh, especially that one. That means there's three people I can render immune to uh, any invocation spell. Do goody goody. All right. Did you choose those those people? Uh, I think I did last game. It was everyone in front? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. I don't think I took <laughs> notes on that. So out of the blue, I'm, I'm dying. Now. I know I was, you know, I was not one of them. Because I don't think I can be one of them. So it has to be Fern, Tamara, and Kate. Okay. They uh, get, they get everything. They get yeah. everything. Oh, they're the We're front line. Like... <laughs> you get all the gifts and all the hits. <laughs> you get all, all right. the heals. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's... yeah. All right. Uh, so, is it my turn? Uh, it is, yes. All right. I guess we'll go with a, a good old class and go for burning ends. Uh, it's level one, so only two. It's 15 fit. I put, is that it? Yeah, it does. Um, I can, I think I have your cone somewhere. So that. Hot dogs, I have hot dogs here. I mean, heels. <laughs> That's weird, but it's really cool at the same time. <laughs> That's the how the spell cult. worked. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, that's good. We'll go with that, that configuration. And it, it is an invocation still, so everyone's safe in front of me. Uh, dexterity saving throw 14 for the beast. All right, that's uh, come on, 18, come on. Uh, 19. Damn, all right, it's half that's damage. <laughs> Jesus, it never stops. That's eight, that's four point of damage. All right, and um. I don't think there's nothing used for it, no, for me. Yeah, that's gonna end my turn. I'm gonna stay right there. So, uh, like, he already had some fire, and, like, he's feeling the sphere. More fire is coming its way. It's like, 
almost like you see the the, the feathers on his face are kind of burning. You see his its skin, yeah. and like you start seeing it, it, its face underneath, and uh, it's it's looking pretty rough, but it's still like looking even more angrily at everything. Like it, it's just in a, a, a friend frenzy rage at that point, and he just wants to kill and eat whatever he sees. You know, like a good mood. What? What? Is he screaming like an owl or a bear? Ooh, that's a good question. It's, uh... It's more like an owl. Okay. It's just screeching. But, but, but with, uh, like a... A final rumble to it. Or... I... I forgot, I get a bonus it. action, right? Now I, uh... Yeah, I didn't, yes. I didn't move. Okay, as one of my bonus action, I can move the sphere and ram it into a creature. Forgot about that. So we're going to ram the fire sphere. Ram that shit. Yeah, ram that shit right straight on him. Uh, just re rename. If you ram the sphere into a creature, that creature must make the saving throw against the sphere damage. So roll again. It's a 14. All right. You guys want fire damage? 16. Damn it. Alright, oh. still half. <laughs> and half is seven. Uh, uh so three. Oh. And now it's the end of uh Zoop's turn for real. Little by little. And uh the sphere is concentration? Or like how long does it last? It's a minute. Last a minute and it's concentration or? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. The sphere consent. What's. What, what? The sphere what? <laughs> so it is concentration. What does the concentration mean? Did I miss something? Uh, no, it's just that if you get hit. You need to uh, maintain your concentration. Oh yeah, okay. That's what. Okay, that's what. And I also, if you if you cast another spell that is also concentration, Ooh, you're gonna okay. lose your sphere. Do I need to roll to keep it up, or uh, only How if it's works? Because I did cast a spell. No, if you cast another concentration spell. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, burning it. So if you take damage or instant. cast another concentration spirit. Alright, we're good. We're good. Alright. Zooks is in the house. Alright, so that's Zooks' turn. Tamara, you're up. Okay. So, I'm going to make one last hit. Uh, that it's... Uh... You, you just so 22 you know, to you, hit. You can't retreat if you're if you attack. No. I have a Let bonus action, so don't worry. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Have so have a plan. <laughs> uh, 22 to hit. Oh, this we get. Uh, we yeah, that that hits. Okay. Ooh. Uh. 12, 15 points of damage. Yeah, okay. 15. <laughs> yeah, she hits. It's down? No, it's still standing. Oh, okay. And bonus action, Misty mm -hmm. Step. And I'm going to move. Uh, I think there is like. Yeah, they say like a uh, one place that I can see, and I suppose I can see here, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I have movement too. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to move here, and I'm going to say, just go back, guys, go back. <laughs> That's my turn. All right. Uh, so you see uh, Tamara like after getting like some hits, she's almost like on the ground, but she takes the opportunity like being almost under the beast, really like strike uh, a vile point, 
um, do a lot of damage. The beast at that point is starting to uh, like be more exhausted and like mad and like reconsidering. That's your turn? Yeah. Burn, you're up. So you see all all that happening and then just a mist. And Tamara's gone. You are face and face to face with the beast. Sorry. Kate is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I'm I'm fine with that. Uh so now it's gonna be uh Talon and the shield. So as a bonus action, Good. I'm going to summon Talon. And my action is going to be, I'm going to cast my, uh, on myself Blade Ward. All right. And what does that do again? It makes me resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, dealt by oh, weapon attacks. Oh, I didn't read that. No, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, considered, it's considered a weapon attack. Okay. Oh, okay. It's considered a weapon. Okay, fine. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say brace for impact, like a little wide stance, just to make sure I can hold my ground. All right. That's gonna be so, uh, uh, it. Friends, just looking the beast in the eyes, taking a stance. Come at me. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, so Matt, you're up. All right. <laughs> well, well, the guy wants some challenge, huh? Um, I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if we should burn. Or he has to protect the little gnome that didn't move before. <laughs> 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 So, uh, as a bonus action, I will attack with my spiritual weapon. It is a 22. And it will be a 9 force damage. Alright. That's my bonus action. Uh, I... I will... That, that was not a spell, so I could theoretically cast something else. Should I? Or should I keep my... I'll heal. <laughs> I think I'll heal. I'll heal... Um, I'll go to Tamara. Okay. I say... Hey, what's up? Touch no, me. I'm, I'm not Touch that. me. How you doing? I wanna feel your body. Fine. How you doing? You're very hairy. Hairty. Hairty. I'm not healing. I'm not healing. I'm not doing it. I know. <laughs> Okay. I just wanted to know if you were okay. Well, you're Sorry. good. You're good. Don't worry about it. So, told the dead on the. Uh... <laughs> Is oh, you right? Oh, that's a wisdom. Ooh. Yeah, owls are wise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so agile. The and bear are strong. Dex saving throw. So what are you doing? Dex saving throw, sacred plane. Alright, that is uh, 19. <laughs> I've been rolling very high for all mm -hmm. his dex save. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> he has plus one in dex. Yeah, <laughs> I still have I've been rolling that. all above like 16. Yeah, uh, that's it for me. Alright, Jade, you're up. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot him with my crossbow. Attack. Real good. Real good. Shooting real good. Not real good. And that's 10 to hit. Ugh. And? Yeah. 10 misses. How can you that miss? Fight. He's taking half of the room. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> But I was hidden, so I have advantage. Uh, yeah, extra. I did not just say that. Mm. 
18. Good shot! <laughs> yeah! Oh, forget <laughs> about it. Thing. Forget about it. <laughs> A lot of rolls. Yeah. 17 damage. It's because he only has one D6. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Hey! Oh! I've got um, a cantrip for no reason. Corner of the wall, I turn around and shoot him through the fireball right in his head, and he falls down. That's it. Yeah, you. Zook, you see the, the, the beast, like. Coming toward like Fern and yourself, and you just see a flaming arrow, like lodge in the, the head of the owl bear. It falls with a big, like loud crash to the ground. It's still kind of simmering and burning uh, from all the fire, fire wound, wounds and like bleeding profusely on like the whole floor and the beast is slaughtered hey, Zook. who's hungry yeah can you finish nope. cooking him with the sear <laughs> we got to do you this thing. oh we could Sorry. actually loot it i could stop burning all the corpses <laughs> loot loot yeah. the owl bear well, we don't know. We can. Our meat. You're have gonna meat. have a handful of feathers. Or feathers. So for with that, uh, it ends the initiatives. So you guys are. So the fl the sphere is not actually like burning the bodies uh, themselves. Like it's more burning like um, the the creature. Okay, so, but I can search but it's, for... It, it's more like, like uh, smoldering, like it's not on fire. Oh. Grill. Okay. But, but like, part of the, especially on its head, like part of the feathers are uh, pretty much gone, revealing like its face with its beak. Uh, if anyone have ever seen an owl without feather, it's... Uh, it's fuel for nightmares, so that's what you guys yep. are, are seeing. But I like the the, that. oh, that's <laughs> the rest, the rest of the bodies, like there's um like uh, like slashing wounds and a couple of arrows in it. But uh, yeah. So I I can get some something from the body, like uh, I don't know. You, you can try. <laughs> Okay, I'm Roll going to a... check the body. Wow. Roll an investigation. Come on, investigation. Oh, oh. Uh. Oh. Eleven? Alright. Um, so, the, the room is not as dark as it was, because, like, the owlbear just burst the whole wall. So now, like the sunlight from like the the rest of the castle that is pretty much like open, is coming in. So it's easier to, for everyone to uh, to see. Uh, with your investigation, like uh, it's a bear, so you it, it has like feathers. If you want to try and uh, cut away some meat, uh, there there is meat that can be bears, harvested it from feathers. it. Sorry. It's a bear, so it has feathers. It's an oh. owl bear, so it, it's kind of a mix of both. But like, you can get feathers, you can get the skin if you want. Um, but nothing else really uh, matters. Take it. Nothing else matters. <laughs> I'm going to cut a good piece of meat and some feathers, and right. I'm going to oh. bring that with me. So you gather a, like a, a bunch, half a pound of feather. Uh, there's some, like, as you're grabbing it, like the, the 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 fur is coming with it. Like it's 
kind of oh. a mix of fur and feathers. Um, nice. You're, ab you're able to like cut a chunk of meat from, you send meat also, right? Yeah. So you're able to cut like uh, a couple of chunks of meat, but if you want to like really cut it dry, skin it, remove the skin and get all the meat that you can, it would take a lot more time. Oh, I'm just going to take the first chunk I get, like big, big chunk, and that's it. Okay. It's very, very dark meat, like almost uh, like the the liver of a, of a cow. Mm. It's like, like duck, if you guys have ever seen duck, I think it's pretty dark. Maybe, maybe someone eats this in Fendolin. I can sell it. <laughs> you don't know. Or we can Maybe eat it with some brandy. Ah. Oh. oh, that's a good idea. So, I oh, do we think... have the fur as well? Oh, good question. You, you, you guys can try to skin it, but right. it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hard endeavor, or if not hard, at least long. Um, you guys want to? Look, yeah. you, go ahead. I was gonna say, Zook's, uh, Zook saw the beast trying to eat, eat Tamara, so he's wondering if there's any magical object inside the beast, maybe in his stomach. Get get my small knife out. I'm gonna go check that out. If I can detect anything is inside of him. Uh, sorry, I missed what you're. You're gonna take I, what out? I I want to take a knife right now. It open the belly up. I want to see if it has eaten anything that has magical properties. All right. Or, or detect magic on his gut. <laughs> it it so you... work without opening it, yeah. Probably. Yeah, but he went for it. Right? Yeah, Zook <laughs> Zook's not that sophisticated. He didn't go to school, right? So now he's gonna open up. So you you open up the beast. Um... It's a big beast, and you're not very good. Um, well, I mean, you can roll for nature. Nature, all right. Got plus four. Let's go. Natural twenty. Yeah. Nice. What, so, what, what? With, without issue, like uh, you are able to spot the the stomach of the beast, uh, and like tear right through it. Where it, it be luck, or you just found yourself uh, a new hobby, uh, you you just open the 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 thorax of the creature, and there is the the stomach. Uh, you open it, and it's pretty much empty. Damn it! Like as empty as it can get, except like uh, stomach f fluid. Okay. So there's nothing there. So you get the you get the very uh, strong feeling that this thing hasn't eaten in a long time. Yeah, I'm not gonna chair. I'm not, I don't think Zoop's gonna check anywhere else in the system. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm not gonna explain to anyone what just happened. It's just gonna, you know, and get you, up. Uh, your detect magic doesn't like ping anything either. All right, nice. Is the claw of the owl bear the, the does it matches the size of on the normal door? Uh, make a investigation check from just memory, <laughs> or you want to go and check it out? Uh, where is it? I mean, why go by memory? Just cut this, you know, bring it. Yeah, you can cut it. Uh, yeah, he's got it already. No, I'm not gonna bring. Uh, no, I'm gonna go check. It's not that far, right. and probably there's two walls that are like broken. So yes, so you, 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 as ever, as a uh, Zook and Tamara are like going away on the body, taking whatever they can and like butchering it. You just like start making your way down the corridor. And yeah, you see, like, the wall is burst open by sheer, sheer force. And the, looking past the wall, it's just more rubble. Another burst wall. 
And as you make your way to uh, uh, this cham chamber... I'm, I'm gonna follow him. Uh, the, the same, like, the, the, the big no-no door is, cool. like, all crashed on the side, on the floor. Uh, some parts still hanging from the, the hinge. Uh, but yeah mm, there goes the answer of what was behind that yeah and you, you you are able to like see the claw mark uh still and they seem too much okay i'll get back in the room with the altar and i'm gonna try to tear down any type of uh like uh, was it wood that was blocking the sun or something like that oh uh, yeah yeah it's an odd mixture of um uh, like straw and wheat and dirt maybe i'll get i'll get the warhammer out and uh, yeah. hack it off me too same thing all right so you hack it off uh you're able to like remove chunk by chunk it's kind of like it, it was probably um like muddy or like um wet ish when they put it on but now like it's all solidified so it's not that hard to like walk at it and bring uh like break chunk of it so that it falls down and the sun start coming in all right uh, I'm gonna. There's still like the 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 smell in the room is like still the smell of, of death and like decomposition and all like the the bodies in the other room now that there is light coming from the wall and the the windows that you uh, dislodge like there's a lot of bodies in there. Like you, just roughly right now, you would th you would think maybe 30, 35. Wow, bodies of all sorts or what kind? Uh, make an investigation check. No, I believe we did last time, and it was like human elves. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was bodies of many, yeah. any kind. Any kind. Many kind. Okay. Well, um, I'm, uh, you you guys think we should uh, maybe instead of starting start doing you know start uh, getting settled then um, maybe we should just uh, see if there's this castle doesn't hide any more of these uh, vermins or goblins and whatnot. I guess we're gonna spend the night, right? I think yeah, yes. Most likely. And I need to clean this shit up as well. And in this time, I. I propose to do some kind of thing to burn or bury all these bodies, if we can. I don't know if these bodies were here for uh, some sacrifice or for gift to the bees, but it doesn't look well. Yeah, we're gonna take care of those, but we, we need to make sure that there's nothing else. Yeah. So... I'm gonna move here. Boop. I believe, as I remember, those are curtains. Uh, can we take a, just a, maybe an, an, an hour of short rest? Yeah, I'm done rest for short bit. rest. Sure? Yeah. I think tomorrow, tomorrow we would need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can take a short rest here. I mean, right. why so not? You all gather around the altar and take a short rest. Yeah. Yes. 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 Sounds good. One D ten. Ouch. It's um, not the the most clean space, and it's like it thinks, but you guys are able to. Uh, take a breather, like, put your 
uh, back on the wall, sit down, uh, heal your wounds. You don't hear anything in the castle at this moment during your hour. Wait, does short Next. rest reset my HP? No. no you, can, you can use hit dice. So you should have uh, uh, a number of hit dice. Oh, there they are, can, yeah. Okay, that you well. can use to roll and heal. No, while you guys do that, I'm gonna go quickly pee. Okay. Thanks. Let's go. Wow, Let's six, go. you're lucky. On a d6, damn, son. One. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, on a d6. You have a d6? No, oh, it's no, it's all. Uh, yeah, it says one d six plus two, total four. I oh, have no okay. idea what that means. A total four is like uh, you can use one hit die uh, every short rest, or you can decide to use all your hit dies in one short rest. But in the okay. next short rest, you cannot use more hit dies. Okay, so, so I this... just I just rolled one, so I got rolled six. Was that? six health more no it, oh. the number that you roll you yeah. add it to your uh, to your hit points that that's the oh, that's heal it. you get okay. and that's one uh, hit die just one you got then, it then you can use the other three in another short rest or you can use it in every short rest okay got it thank you and when you take a long rest, you have, you gain up to half of your hit dice. So keep that in mind. If you all right. Like if you take them all in one day, you only get half of it back after the mm. long rest. Okay, and half. that was just one. Okay. I thought but it was ju one. But hit just dice in the case, you rest. get all your hit dice. It's up to half of it. Why up to? Well, it's maximum half of your hit dice, so if you take them all, you only get half back. Okay. okay. Makes sense. Alright, you good. Alright. So, Let's now that you guys... Let's yeah. finish to explore the castle. Alright. What are you guys doing? Investigate. You can keep together. We can do like different yeah, groups. Yeah, I'll I'll open the start. I'll open the march. I'll follow uh, whoever's alone and sad. I follow too. I want to see what is in that curtain. All right. What's so, behind uh, curtain number one? The monster! Ah. Three owl bears. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you open <laughs> curtain number one, and uh, it, it's pretty much. Uh, is there anything in that book? I don't remember. I thought it was just empty. I see barrels. Uh, but and I prints. might be wrong. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a, uh, like it's a tower uh, that is almost completely co collapsed. Um, you see like rotten barrels and crates tucked in the side on the side, uh, and there um, there is an exit that is disseminated uh, behind another curtain. I think Kate spotted it at some point uh, before, but. 
Uh, it's a way out of the castle. Mm -mm, okay. Oh. But, uh, um, is there anything in the crates, barrel stuff? Make an investigation check. Okay, I shall investigate. I assume we're all in this together. Yay! I, I have. rolled. No, I rolled already. I'll do uh, a cast guidance. But I've already rolled. It won't matter much. It was a four. But guidance is uh, you roll with advantage, no? I think you had a, a d4. A d4. A d4? But still, okay. even if I roll like super great, it, it would be 8 top. So you take your armor, crush one barrel, put your hands in it, it comes out. It's like mold at this point. Like, <laughs> might used to have been grain or floor, but right now it's just. You're, you're just a handful of mold. Well, good uh, thing we have the like, all bear for supper. Oh, gross. <laughs> I have meat. But yeah, not much uh, seems to be interesting in, in that room. It's really just crates and barrels that seem to have been left out to rot. Okay. Okay, so we going to come here tonight? No, we haven't. We're we're not done. We still have a couple rooms to m make sure there's nobody. Okay. Go. No. I'll open that door, which leads to that door, which leads... Well, basically, I'm going to head into that room. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, head back in the room. Um, and, like, the the furniture has been, like, kind of placed back. Uh, roughly. So, like, you guys that do a, a whole board, though. Like, a whole, um, like... Ruckus. Mess with everything, yeah. <laughs> and uh, but it seems like they, they play so, someone or something have placed back like the, the bed in a corner and like uh, some of the, the cupboards and stuff like that. And there's like again a dead goblin in in the bed. Is he really dead if I poke it? Go and poke it. Mm, Warhammer. Oh. <laughs> so it's... you poke it with your Warhammer? Yeah. Like it, it doesn't. Like it, it's just uh, pretty much like lifeless. It's like oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, a doll or. And there's nothing in that room. Nope. Well, same as empty. before. It was just. Uh, we just, uh, there's just a no no room that is left to look. Okay, go to the to no the no, no room! room. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Ta -da 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 -da. Well, Five sessions later, we know. Passages, I think. Sorry? What did you say, Samad? I don't think we uh, investigated for secret passages or uh, traps or. No. There's always secret uh, places, you know, in a castle. Well, we can try. Because for me, it's weird that there is a lot of uh, goblin dolls around. Yeah. Yeah, dolls, but that, those. Uh, goblin dolls? Dolls? The, yeah. The, 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 that the, goblins. The dummies. Yeah. Okay. So Not actual wait. goblin doors. No, no. Well, they look like. Alright, so uh, you make your way slowly to uh, the, the big burst open door. Are you guys entering the, the room? Mm, yes, I'll go first. Um, Is go it first. pitch black again? <laughs> Kate, uh, Kate, prepare a lantern. Yeah. It, it is kind of the same treatment as um, so like the the arrow slit are covered now like some of the light from like the room you're currently in is uh, going in 
but there's not much light in it. Do you get I'm your lantern out or take out my lantern? Calm yeah. down. Okay. Hey. Well, if if you were not gonna do it, I would have used a torch. But you have torch. Yes. Whoa. You don't my lantern out. Torches are part of the adventuring gear. And uh, can I look uh, in the room, see if there's something interesting, shiny? I'm gonna help. Um, so you you have your torch out. That's what you said. My lantern. Okay. Make a perception check. And friend, you're also looking. I'm helping him. Yeah. Uh, and I'm guiding. I was guiding. God guiding. Advantage and guidance. Super okay. roll. They see me rolling. The guiding. <laughs> so you said perception? Yes. 21. 21. 20. Um, well, the room is kind of what you would expect from uh, holding a big creature for an extended period of time. Like, most of it is, like, it's kind of a tower, and then at the top you, uh, there's kind of still the, this, the wooden ceiling with, like, um, the arch. Some of them are, like, have been broken by the, the creature on the floor, like, there's straw and, uh, and wheat floor. Uh, there's, like, owl beer poop all over. <laughs> Uh, it smells like uh, poop, like a, a place, soup. like a chicken, uh, like rain ranch place. Oh. I don't know how you call it, like where you raise chicken, but a coop. Um, it, a chicken coop? coop. Yeah. Right. Oh, I've played Stardew Valley. Uh, it's a chicken coop. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> so it smells a bit like, uh, like that. Um, and with your roll, you you spot something that catches your attention on the second floor. There's a second floor. Well, like the the partial wooden ceiling oh, seems okay. to have like a, a a hole in it, or what could have been uh, maybe a, a trapdoor at some point. What um, there seems to be something peeking out. How, how high here. is it? Yeah. Uh, I would say like eight feet above. Oh, okay. Uh, you, you don't mind if I pick you up and I'll pick him up and just push him where the trap you, door is. You throw him. No, no, I, I lift him. Sorry, did I say throw? No. <laughs> lift. No. I lift him. But I, but I wanted. <laughs> <you to throw. laughs> but it's it's not an open. Please say you're throwing him. <laughs> Is it open? Because if it's open, I can throw him. But I'm it, yeah, if it's well, eight it's feet a... tall, I'm seven feet tall anyway. Yeah, you're able to uh, like lift him, kid. Your uh, you you get kind of just your head above uh, the kind of ceiling, and there's a, a small like wooden chest lodge on the side, like hidden on. What was the roof of that chamber? So I'm gonna take the chest. Am I strong enough <laughs> to do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're able to uh, like pull the chest like that. Like when it gets off the ledge, you kind of feel the weight and it's like dangle a bit. But then, uh, for uh, I'll pick the other side, yeah pretty firmly and uh, so, you're able to look what I found if you have to hide loot oh, uh, hide it in a I'll start, uh, detect, I start wait, casting wait. Uh, detect magic as a ritual yeah so uh, Kate can do you know what you got on your uh, your dice on my dice you got a, a total of 21 but what was your 
What's your I bonus didn't... on perception? Uh, two. Wait, is it perception or investigation? It was perception. Said perception. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Sorry. I just wanted uh, to verify something. Okay. It's a trap. What yeah, do we it do? It's like a trap. Look, uh, yeah. look for traps and. Senat no. said we detect magic. So. Yeah. Yeah, but our traps traps can be mechanical and not necessarily magical. So, can I inspect the chest? See if it looks sure weird can. or if uh, it's locked? Uh, I'm saying um, the the trap was basically the owl bear guarding it. Are you sure? So <laughs> that's the uh, perception. Yes. No. Investigation. Investigation. And that's a natural twenty. Woo so go. twenty-one. Oh. That's the second one. So yeah. Looking at it, uh, it doesn't appear to be a trap. It's pretty much a wooden chest. You do notice it is locked, though. Can I try to pick lock it? You, you certainly can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slate of hand? No, it's your uh, thief's tools. So I think it's a dex check with a proficiency bonus. Dex, proficiency. So you're fumbling with it uh, a bit. It is giving you harder time than you would expect from it, just a uh, normal wooden check. But uh, after a few minutes, like everyone started gathering, putting pressure on you. Uh, you do, <laughs> you do, you are able to like pull the right pins twist the lock and open the chest what's in it uh so in it there is uh there's a bag of gold and in it well uh i'll see it now but uh i assume you guys are counting it but there's 120 gold pieces and 90 electron pieces in it. The chest also contains a potion on e of healing and uh, two kind of wooden um, like parchment holder that you saw previously. Hey, it's the loot from the second dungeon. And there is also a bag. A bag? Yeah, like a satchel. Very intricate sac satchel. Oh, so good night, Mike. Look into the chair satchel. What is behind satchel number one? How much of gold? 100? Of gold. 120 gold, 90 electrons. I'll, I'll yep. split it. Uh... I'll put it into um, uh, normal currency because Electron sucks. And uh... yes, there is also there there's is there is also some, like paper in it uh, in the chest before uh, you open the the satchel, like letters and. Uh, just paper with stuff written. Oh, that could be knowledge. Yeah, Zook's gonna take the papers and try and read it. All right, for sure. Let me see. And that's pretty much what's in the chest. Okay. And uh, Zook, you should probably look at the the parchment too. Yeah, de definitely doing that right now. 
So Zook take care of the papers. I'll take care of the... I'm going to look at what's in the satchel. And somebody's right. short of a potion of healing. I only have one. I have one also. I don't. Uh, we'll, we'll do that later. One, two. All right, friend. You open the satchel. You look into it. Uh, do you reach in it, or you just look into it? I look into it. All right. You look into it. It's weird. It's kind of a uh, dark. And you don't see the bottom. Is that a freaking bag of holding? Oh my yes. god. Yes. I'm gonna put my hand in it. It doesn't have like you reach in it and you don't like your your hand doesn't grasp anything. It's like it just seems bottomless. Go hold. Okay. If I reach in it and I think of gold. Do I grab something? Uh, no. If I flip oh. it over and I shake it, there, uh, there is nothing that comes out. Dang it! I could, I could. Well, how many we put something? Uh, uh, Maybe Samantha I can is already it. doing a ritual. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take my water skin and put it in the bag. It vanishes. I'm gonna reach in the bag and get my water skin. You get your working water skin back. Hey, yeah, it's a bag of holding. Come on, I, come I, on. Yeah, oh, I'm nice. gonna spend. Um, I'm guessing the next. I think is it an hour to attune, or like to know what it is, or how does it work? Yep. Yeah, it, it's like a, a short rest. You sit down and you uh, study it. To, um, to do kind of identify on the okay. object. And I'm gonna like touch my bag and play with it a little bit. We put can put there the beer. <laughs> you wanna play with your bag? Is that what you said? I'll yeah. play with your bag. I'll fuddle with my bag. It is a bag of holding. Ta -da -da -da. Oh, bag of holding. That's so nice. Oh. So, um, everyone can see it right now, but oh. I opened it I'll, on roll 20. I'll Look at in. that. So everyone can see it right now, but I think I'll, I'll give it to Alex for now. Okay. Uh, I'm holding. Do I fit in the bag? Now, uh, no. Fern, no, you, you are the, the holding. You Do I... Good? Fit in the bag? Uh, no. no. I think the, uh, that's I'm the, the, bag. the, uh, so it's like, it's two feet wide, uh, in the emitter for the, uh, yeah, the but it's four feet deep. Is this four we feet could, deep? We could feed a gnome and a halfling in it. Yeah, I mean, if you want to. If you want to step in it, you can. <laughs> oh. hmm. I'm not sure. Hmm, not sure if you want to step in it. For the moment, it's just for the beer and things. And copper. And copper, yes. I Where want is to that guy? Copper. Is copper around? Um, like. Should be. So Kate is, as Kate is seeing that, everyone looks around, and copper can't be seen. Like, now that you think about it, you haven't seen him in some time. Well, I mean, you Since haven't seen him last today. night? Yes. <laughs> Dead. Was he well, with us when we came he run in away. the castle? Yeah. Sorry? Was he with us when he, we came into the castle? Uh, no. So he left during the night. Ish. 
theory. Was he with us when we hit the cart? I'm... Is he in the cart? He will leave someone in the cart. Did he leave with the cart? Maybe. Oh no. I remember he was with us uh, when we were camping. Okay. But I don't remember if in the morning we check. So yeah. Zook says we're, we continue without him. He's gone. It's the end. Maybe he so, ran away finally. Yeah, I'm holding. Uh, by the way, I spent an hour uh, with the satchel, so I suppose Zook, you'd have time to look at the parchment. I suppose. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. Um, are they parchment? No, you said papers. Yeah. Uh, no, there's two wooden parchment holder. Like two wooden tubes for parchment? Ish? Yes. Okay. Ish. So Maybe it's a map or something. I would say it's probably scrolls in it. It's probably a map. Yeah. But we already have a decent map. Why would we need more maps? We have a map. I pull out the map. We have a map. Yeah, and then I'm going to put it in the bag of holding. Is that not better? <laughs> and then I'm going to pull it out. We still have a map. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, we're going to have no, some but fun with that bag. We want a map that indicates a place with another chest. I mean, I could compare maps right now. I, I'm down. I don't know. Maybe one of them have the... I don't know, some secret. I don't know. Yeah, it was an parchment. It's, it, it's, it wasn't a parchment, right? It was a paper, right? Isn't it? There, there was both. It Both was some aren't. paper in the, in the, 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 how do you say that? Chest. The, at the bottom of his chest? Yeah, yeah. But there was also two, um, what appears to be, like Fren said, parchment holder. Um, okay. Or if you want to say it, uh, scroll holder. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's start with the paper. Is it a scroll holder or it's a Helder scroll? Alright, so that's it for tonight, everyone. It was fun having you. <laughs> it's over. Uh, okay. Oh, look, make an investigation check. Hell yeah, I'll make an investigation I'll check. I want to check that papers. That is 20, but not natural. 16 plus 4. Nice. Um, so looking over the paper there, there's not that many. Uh... They seem to be kind of a, not a ledger, but like a, some... Is it a like, diary? No, it, it's like bills and uh, okay. just like paperwork that yeah. you would have when getting uh, like shipments so, and stuff like that. A ledger, yes. all right. Yeah, well... It's more like a different transaction and different like deeds and uh, um, and uh, yeah bills and stuff like that. Some are very old um, that maybe dates before even the goblins were there, but it appears uh, the what's do, his name? Do any of them have uh, like? rock seeker in it or or they're all related to the black spider is there any of these names or the name of people we met interesting in there they are trafficking something Wait. so uh just for zoo uh 20 um so yeah they're old ones but they're more recent one with like the hobgoblin that was kind of the the king or the the boss here started to pile some of its paper in in that chest too um and there are there are some like that list uh like like slaves <gasps> or like n not just like food and stuff like that but also uh like people 
Oh no. Well, that's bad. Um, Is the list about 30, 30 people of different kind, human, health, and... Uh... Yeah, is there a uh, description? It's it's not like exhaustive, so like you gather like they are goblins, so they don't keep a, a good track. But uh, like you can glance, and you uh, the 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 one specific mentioning some uh, people is marked with the the seal of uh, the black spider, and. Uh, it just says at the top, um, payment due for our arrangement. Is there a date next to payment due? Uh, it, it is dated. Yes. Uh, it would be dated about uh, maybe like two weeks back, three weeks back. Yeah. It's the most recent that you can see. Three weeks back? Wait, three weeks back? That brings us back to the beginning of our quest. Yeah. With uh, the Rock Seeker. Gunther. I think. So, so they were uh... expecting payment for capturing them I suppose or bringing them transport so with all that said I don't know if you guys remembered but Zoo came in your party because he was captured by goblins right can I see how much I'm worth on these papers am I there somewhere with the group of elf I was with kind of uh, invested right now no, uh, no, you you don't see your, your name or anything. No, uh, and there's no there's no real price attached. No, no, without price, but they, we were four. Is there? Does that concord with any date near of, of when I was saved? Or uh, no? Okay. Not that you not that you can find in. in all right, paper. all right. So, all right. And they they, they are selling people. Yeah, seems like it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Or transporting slave. It's kinda uh, I'm glad we're done. Well, with someone those. is paying. Mm. Seems like it's the black spider that's paying. So Zoob's gonna lose interest on the papers instant. I'm so gonna give what? them to Fern. And you yeah, yeah, he the look the spider all that, he doesn't know, he doesn't care. He's gonna check out scrolls now. Good. So you open the uh, scroll holder. Yeah. The first one. Um, make an arcana check. Hell yeah. That's nineteen. That's twenty-five. All right. Actually. You learn a spell called death. It's, it's called death. <laughs> so the the first scroll you have is uh, and like you read it. Uh, the scroll is made to be like easy to read. It's not in shorthand or anything. Uh, it's ready to, to cast, and you get a very good idea of the symbol and what it's about. It is an illusion spell. And uh, you glance that it is silence. Ooh. Silence, okay. So it is a scroll of silence. Do, uh, do I know what level spell is that? Or am I adding this spell? Scroll? Excuse me a second. Uh, I'm trying to add it to my, my inventory. I'm just stuck on spell scroll it's level. It's a second level. It is, right? Okay. Illusion silence, thank you. But even though you, like you understand the language and all that, um, uh, you know that you can't actually cast it. Okay. Because um, to cast a scroll, you, it needs to be on your uh, class 
Belnist. Mm -hmm. And uh, Silence is, uh, I think, Bard, Cleric, and Ranger. Ooh. All right. So those cl class can cast. Don't, don't, the, don't, the don't, don't give that to tomorrow. Oh. Weird things are going to happen. <laughs> do we need. No, we do not, there is, she's the only one I can use it. No. no cleric, uh, Samad, Samad can, use, can it. use it too. Give it to Samad. It's, it's better. Worst. Nah, you got me. No, nah, he got me drunk, and you got me the staff of defense. So he's more alleged toward you. Zook's oh. just gonna give you the scroll and just go for the next one. There are two oh. scrolls, right? Am I wrong? Oh boy, one of us is gonna okay. get stuck in a fog of clouds, silenced. Hell yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Look, look, look at it go. <laughs> was there uh, was there fun. only one scroll? No, there's two. Okay, what's the? Uh, let's go, let's go, man. Let's dig in the other one. Ooh. Make an arcana check. Again, let's go! That's 21, son! Good. Uh, the next one is... You, like... It's more complicated, this one. Uh, it appears to be more intricate, darker, uh, you get the feeling of necromancy, a uh, school of magic. And uh, you're just able to make sense to understand that this scroll or this spell is used to bring back uh, people from the dead. It is a scroll of Revivify. Revivify! 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 That can be used by clerks and paladin. Yeah, of course. This guy. <laughs> All right. So still a spell that Zubla can't use. He's kind of bummed out. Who can use it in that group? It has some uh, some math, right? The some for this one. Yeah, it, yeah that's it. The, it's the core spell of uh, clerics. Oh, it's, right. a, it's a All third uh, level spell. I didn't know. Not even sure. If like Mike Dighton that. Oh, that's a uh, that's a hard question. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll give the uh, scroll to Semeth and uh, say it's for the text next. Drinks are paid by that. He's he said nothing. Yeah, that's like approving. That's a silent approval. I'm I'll, down. I'll keep it. All right, that's, just, uh, that, that's 10 free drinks, son. All right, I'm done. By the way, um, I counted it, and you all have uh, 31 gold and one silver each. Woo. 31 gold and one silver. I charge one silver nice. for counting all that. <laughs> you what? What? Nice. Uh, All right. Want to take note of this now? Hey, um, Simad, you're uh. You're good with the arcane stuff, right? Oh, Do you know it's arcane. arcane, arcane things. It's uh, right beside Arkansas. Um, would you? <laughs> would you know how? Why I tend to have a sudden accent. Mm, yeah. Uh, would you know how to get something out of a bag of holding if something is in it? Can't you like empty it or something? I don't Do know. I know that. Do you attune to it? Do I, do I know? I'm I'm attuned to it. No no attunement required. That's what it says. Huh. So if I put an alive creature in the bag of holding, can he see around? <laughs> 
don't think so. No? Only one way to find out. <laughs> yeah? Alright. Fuck it. Where's my, uh... Where's my owl? Mr. Alex, where would you do with my owl, man? There it is. Uh, always been there. So hey, you you're going to put your owl inside? Yeah, it's a summon. It's fine. Do, do you want to... <laughs> okay. Again, make it a disco owl if you want. Uh... What the... Disco owl. Oh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try this out because I remember bags of holding uh, probably will not kill the owl instantly. So let's oh wow it's okay, the owl's partying right now. <laughs> so it has to fit right. It's pretty small an owl. Its wings are closed. I'm gonna yeah. push it inside and uh, use uh, uh, yeah see through his eyes. Is that what it's called? What is it called? You can see through your familiar's eyes and hear what it hears until it starts. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you, you don't see anything. It is okay. like pure darkness. Pitch black. Could you, uh, could you drop a gold coin, please, in, Mr. Alex? Uh, Fern. Damn, damn it. I'll drop. I'll drop a crowbar. Oh, man, that works. Do I see it? Nope. Okay, there's absolutely nothing. I'm gonna get my owl out of there. It's a bit. It's a big void. Uh, it's not coming out. Oh damn it! Okay. Um. Can I? I'm gonna take the bag out of Fern's hand and just flip it over and, you know, shake it all around. Nothing's happening. All right, that's that owl's gone. Can I try to reach in and get the owl? Oh, that's actually clever. That could be it. Yeah, you can try. Well, I'm gonna try to get like a, a rabbit out of a magician hat, and I'll get the owl out. You uh, get it out, and uh, it. It just like starts breathing and it seems to be almost like unconscious <gasps> uh, on the verge of like suffocating. Well, yes, so you, you can too. mark your uh, owl is at one HP right now. Oh no, <laughs> owl's not doing great. You almost killed your owl. Can I, uh, can I try and fix him with nature or? Bandage him. I have some rags. Oh, he's not breathing. There's nothing I can do. Never mind. Well, they're well, I mean, it... that, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on the scroll. Oh, no. <laughs> Revert her by. All right. So, uh, as everyone is around the bag and playing with it, you just hear a. a... But. You turn around and. So that uh, has some like paper, like burning. But what? it's sacred flame. It's not actual flames. Would it still burn, or would it just do like, Phew, and? Why? Well, trying to purify them. So, Samat, were you trying to destroy it? Oh yeah. Yeah, no, it it still does work. Like it's not flame, but it's still like kind of disintegrate with like, and uh, goes out uh, in smoke. It's more of like the divine energy getting out the power of the the scroll. But but why you can cast it? Why are you guys looking at me like that? Well, we just find it so. Kind of yeah, weird you destroy it. <laughs> Can you remind me what this does what does the scroll do? Hmm. Uh raise dead day, day yeah. of your yeah, friends. It brings back dead people. No. Oh it brings someone who's dead yeah. back to life. It's a lot different than brings back dead people. It's not raising zombies, it's if Tamara dies. Because that's the best example I can find. If she time. dies, it's very realistic. Well, you bring it's her back it, to life. 
So it's is a Ruby life fun? giving scroll. Oh. oh and Samad's looking at the party like he's realizing now that the party's really just realizing what it really true what it means to be <laughs> with or or to be a cleric of Kelambor or to be with a cleric of Kelambor and what it means like like he he's he's like oh yeah see I'm totally against necromancy and this is necromancy but it's like okay well I understand but yeah see I when someone dies it that's did. it if you go against that you're going you're going against that whether it is you know back as a slave or back back you're when you die it that's it so you that's are really it. a radical a radical of the necromancy I'm, I'm not radical it's just you know i am a that's what it means to be a cleric of something if i don't do that <laughs> well i wouldn't be here well i kind of respect that but yeah that could be a good spell for us yeah i'm sorry i wasn't all that clear about that before i thought when i completely murdered that guy who raised dead Damn. it was obvious but maybe it was not so that that's that's on me we have beer okay okay we have beer so we have maybe. to make sure that none of us dies and i'm gonna look at tamara precisely yeah like, that's kind of the serious point of living. stare <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm going to try not to die i don't promise anything <laughs> it's also the point where what's what i'm doing you know that's what i'm doing i'm i'm helping you not die to make up for it Okay, if you okay. wanted to uh, get something out of that, that scroll in terms of money, well, you guys owe me half a potion, so... <laughs> gift, gift. Maybe. I'm gonna reach into the bag of holding and pull out a potion of healing, and I'm gonna give it to Sema. There. Why? I don't know. You no, said I'm we owe you. I'm or you back healing you. Yeah. I know, but I have an extra. So... There. What I mean is, I just destroyed a scroll that might be worth something, and instead of giving me back the healing potion, you keep it. Oh, okay. I get it. You lost okay. magic, and in magic. exchange, we got heal. Yeah. Okay. But you said it could be worth something. We could have sell it. <laughs> yeah. The. That would mean that I allow someone to raise the dead as well. Yeah, but you're not gonna know about it. It's, <laughs> you know, you know how a god works, Kate. The god know pretty much it. know everything you're doing, even if you think they're not looking. It's kind of embarrassing at some point. You just not have to not think about it. But that's how it works. So your god saw you drunk on that cart? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, no, right. he's okay with that. He's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, your god is really weird. It's like the god of beer. Well, he's god the god of, of death. <laughs> the god of beer. <laughs> he's the god of death, so what if you do not expect weird at some point. Okay. You know, have you ever been to a temple of Kalambor? No, I even never been they, in Kalambor. Listen, even they creep even they creep me out. Oh. Yeah, okay. it's kind of all um how do you call it uh, those who prepare the dead, you know, before uh ceremonies, before funerals. I'm thinking about silent okay. sisters, but 
that might be a yeah, whole they, different universe. Like a mortuary. Yeah, they that. prepare the dead for the funeral, so you can't expect really extrovert people there. I'm okay. kind of sane. I'm sane compared to those guys. Okay, remember to me, don't go to Kalimbur. Well, you would kind of need to if you die in a city. <laughs> but you'll never He's know, right. so it's okay, I guess. Maybe if someone here dies, we'll need to do that. But I don't see that happening very anytime soon. Maybe we Unless find someone. all bear here. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've pretty Maybe... much cleared everything. Hope so. Well, we have beer. <laughs> Let's, uh, uh, what, what time is it? Like outside, does it look like? It, uh, it's like mid afternoon at this point. There's okay. ever, ever a need to sacrifice someone. I'll be the first to volunteer as well. That That's kind of like saving your life, right? So keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. We're going to keep beer? that in mind. Mm. Well, we're we going to come here or we're we going to go back? No, we came here. Okay. So we did all the castle? Uh, yeah. Well, there's still uh, like the common room left. Yeah. Ish. This one. Yeah. Oh. But that is so our room. Let's let's make a final round and uh yeah, let's go back and maybe start cleaning those uh the, the, the people in the room. Yeah. So as as you make uh your way to the common room, like you said this one yeah. uh and you you enter again like stench of death um uh, and it's probably the room with the most goblins like it's like long dining tables there's goblins sitting at the, the tables there's like uh the table is set with plates and rotten food on top of it and like some of the goblin are just like it's their heads are like just uh, pulling backward. Most of them doesn't even have a head. It's just like a weird setting of again, just putting as if the bodies are still alive and in place. Somebody was very lonely in here. Needed some yeah. company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This creeps me out. Like. Who have the time to do all of this? All right, let's keep that... uh, let's keep exploring. Kay. I think the best. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe one of the best solution would be to, uh, I don't know, fill the hole with goblins and burn them all. The trap? Yeah. You said? <laughs> okay. I just started taking all the goblins to the trap. <laughs> no, I said it was just an idea. Didn't mean well, we have we to can do it right do now. It. Okay. And there are so many. We're going to start with one. <laughs> it falls down, like kind of impile, impale on <laughs> the the stick at the bottom. Oh, um, there is a stick at the bottom. Yeah. I remember. Try not to hit the sticks. We're gonna be able to stack more. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so you guys are taking that time to uh, clean all of the goblin and putting it in the pit. Have we gone around the entire castle? Uh, before doing that, I would check like every room and make sure that there's nobody left. Make a invest. Check or perception. I'm going to help. I'm I have yeah, to roll. I'll, I'll or... help too because I that's my first time in this castle. I'm still thinking of exploring, so yeah, okay. I'll help. 
Oh, they all make it individually. I don't know, Samat, what are, you are doing. Perception investigation. During that time. If they're exploring any un parts that could be dangerous for them, you know, parts of the castle. I you've all been to, you've all you've been to all the room. Mm -hmm. So it's more just like making uh, sure there's going, nothing left. Going around and just making sure you didn't like, miss anything. I will What's roll, investigation? Uh, Twelve. Sixteen. I'll be cleaning uh, cleaning up the uh, shrine. Uh, 23. Wow, we're only a beast. Alright. Um, so, like, you go around all the rooms, and you pretty sure you pick everything clean. Like, there is still the, the, the goblins remaining. Um, but, like, nothing really of interest that you can pick up. Uh, other like then old weapons and art. I think you guys already gathered quite a few of the armor and weapon of the goblins, but um, I, I don't think you picked them all, so there's still that remaining. But uh, no hidden uh, like places or hidden stuff that you can find. Okay. Okay, when, um, when we end this, I'm going to Semat and I'm going to help him to clean the shine. Uh, okay, Zook, yeah. you want to help me? I'm going to uh, fill the bottom of the pit with wood that I can find and then stack goblins on top of it. Make like a huge pyre. All right. And uh, Zook, um, when, that is, when, when we're all done cleaning... Uh, would you like to do some burning hands to get it all started? Or any other kind of fire starting you could do? And uh, it's just the goblins that you put in the pit, right? Yep. You're not putting the bodies also, right? No, no, goblinoids. No. Stuff that doesn't okay. bother Samat, basically. Good. Uh, and Samat, you were cleaning the shrine. Yeah. All right, so removing the uh, like the the dark cloth on top of it, uh, like it's cake with blood. Same on uh, on the floor. Like, are are you cleaning like all the blood on the floor too, or like what what's your uh, goal? Well, if you ever you um... you, you guys have pretty much the like. Uh, the the whole rest of the day so like there's still maybe uh three uh three to four hours before sundown and then like it's night but like you have time if you want to clean it uh, depending what you're going to do with the body the bodies mm -hmm. i don't know Samad, you're going to burden them or yeah, burn the bodies? Uh, yeah, we're gonna burn them as usual. Okay. Uh, well, is there anything significant in the corpses, or is it just? I recognize someone. You you do, or you're asking if you're coming? I am. I, I I am asking if I recognize someone. Uh, well, so that you can, you can make an investigation check looking at the I bodies. We did it, and there was someone who had an insignia of something. No, that was yeah. for the weapon. That yeah, was for the, the well. weapon you found. Oh, you guys okay. just looked around. You didn't really investigate the body. So. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do that. I'll do. Six. 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 I'm going. Yeah. I'm going to roll two to investigation. 
All right. If I can... Uh, 15. Good. Much better. Uh, so you go around uh, with the body, with the, the bit of light that comes in the room. Um, and like they are all naked and they don't have any belongings. Uh, but the wounds that they have are pretty much all similar. Like, uh, it's a stab in, in like the chest and like it's cut open kind of like stab but like there is a in incision um do you investigate further or cuz like i uh, just looking uh it, like y you just kind of open or yes i want to see if they have his card yeah no the the, like all their arts are gone. Oh. It's like it with your investigation. It's not too hard to piece that it's. They were all sacrificed in a very specific fashion. Taking off his heart. Maybe they ate the heart. Maybe like yeah. you, you can't tell at that point, but it's clearly. At, been sacrificed in some ritual all of them oh. and uh, on some of the bodies you you find a, you find a, a mark like uh, like something that you would uh, burn like a pig iron like, uh, in, in, in sing uh, that you just like, um, white iron and it on it and, and stuff like that. Um, they are kind of a slave mark, but they are in the shape of a spider. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> so it's like they mark every. That, so you you can't find it on all of them, uh, but some of the bodies you can find a uh, distinctive mark. Okay. Not all the bodies have the mark. So just... Not all of them. Okay. Ooh. Well, I helped to Samad to bring everybody to, 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 to... I don't know, you, you can make a hold or something? A yeah, big hold? I'll make a hold. Oh. We'll dig out. Are you... Are you making a hole different than... So you're not putting the goblins with the, uh, the other oh, bodies? No, 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 I'm no, not, no, no. I'm not putting the goblins on the ground. No, we're burning, burning the goblins making... and we're burying... Uh... Exactly. Well, you can make a pyre, like, with wood and, like, straw for and... For the goblins, yeah. No, not the goblins, for... Oh, for them. For the bodies? I'm burying... I'm burying uh, the non-goblins. Oh, you're not burning them? No. Nope. Burning. Okay. So we're okay. going to... Keep a hole. Yeah. yeah. So that's gonna take quite a bit of time. It takes what it yeah. takes. To... I'm helping, I'm helping. Samat is still young, he goes by the book. <laughs> yeah. Good. Are you digging well, one young. big hole he's... or a tomb for each? A tomb for each. A tomb for each tomb would for be... Each. Yeah. Alright. Is everyone helping or? Oh no, Zooks is sleeping already. <laughs> uh, when I'm done with the goblins and the pyre and it's lit. So, uh, Fern and Kate. Fern and Kate are. Go for it, Kate. Yeah, I was helping with the goblin. That should take some time still. Yeah. Mm, so, less Fern and Kate. Are, Such a good group. Uh, well, you still need to gather all the goblins from everywhere. While uh, Tamara and Samet are digging the hole and start start dragging the, the bodies. Um, yeah, so it's going to take like most of the rest of the day. Uh, pretty much. <laughs> like for Fern and Cade, maybe like uh, in a good two hours, you're able to gather everything. 
start the fire. Um, so there's a big black like column of smoke coming out of the castle um, while Simat and Tamar are still at it, digging one by one. Uh, all the the graves start dragging the the bodies. Um, I don't know if Fern and Kate, you're just like enjoying your fire or if you're aid, going no, to aid Simat and Tamar. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go help after. Because otherwise they they won't be done uh, by the end of the night. No. I'm gonna help. Hey guys, I, I just want to say I'm I, I I think you're pretty cool for being okay with uh, you know my. Well, I I, I really respect your your belief, so yeah, that's why I'm I'll doing this. I'll try to do the same. <laughs> okay. I keep I'll digging. I'll try to stop calling you useless bitch. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, whatever. You can say <laughs> so. I, I don't even bother right now. Yeah, like, yeah you, you're not, though. You're not a useless bitch. You're very helpful right now. And like I said, thank you. You guys are okay. Like, keep digging. <laughs> Good. So you guys, um, pretty much, like, especially, especially Tamara, like with, um, like the wounds that you you got, even though you. We're able to heal a bit, like it's, uh, y you feel it in your muscle that uh, like begin to be, be sore, everyone is exhausted. Uh, it is dark, but by the time you guys uh, finish the job, um, getting pretty late, but you do finish. There is like, you look around and like, there's like tombstone all over like the field, right next to the castle with like cross picked in each of them and it, it, it like it's now that you counted them it's like 36 graves that you guys wow. had to dig up and uh bury and mark uh so it's a like you're kind of proud of it like it looks good in a grim way but mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's a that's a grim sight Cool. It's gross. getting better. Um, yeah. And you start to making a fire too. And there's uh, on the on the uh, in their made up tombs, there's gonna be um, in, uh, uh, engraved on them. There's gonna be made up names for the people. Or we can all them them Pierre. 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 And one, name. one's name Guy. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to find it. Guy. Thirty-five it's Pierre inject. and one Guy. So is Zook uh, <laughs> Is Zook sleeping the whole time, or are you still? Oh hell yeah! No, that's or? that's religion's thing. He doesn't understand anything they're doing with the corpses. No, I know, but you add. Uh, you had scroll or stuff that maybe you wanted to copy or study. Oh, or... Uh, I mean, m most of the scroll I gave. Um, no, oh. but, but you still have other scroll and a spell book and all. Like, you have work. You have a lot of work to do. No, no. <laughs> you have to you read. Sleep. No, no. Power naps. Power naps are important. I'm doing a fire it's right all, now. It's, it's for you, just for you, for you. That you can read in the night. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I have a grimoire. I'm gonna copy. Uh, I'm gonna take that time to copy a spell from the grimoire into my book. Yeah. All right. Uh, did you identify all the spells? I don't I yeah. remember. Yeah. Uh, no, there was one. Uh, no, there were two spells missing that I did not identify. I could actually check those out first. Yeah, I'm gonna try to identify the two last spells that. I failed to, uh, I can give you the one I already have, if that helps. Yeah, I just need to find back the list. <laughs> I am a dwarf and I'm digging a... <laughs> Where did I put that? I ho, I'm gonna stop. I ho, the bodies oh. goes in the I'm hole. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Talking about power nap. My time's already up. I don't know if we, we wanted to do more tonight. No, I think we're gonna end it pretty soon. Um, Ooh, 
like uh, as you guys are are bedding down i think we're gonna end here i just wanted yeah. to do some of this, this stuff but i i can't remember where i took those notes we can we can say it i'm looking for the two other spells on the next week uh check if you found what the two spells are yeah i believe do. they're fireballs level 20. no <laughs> please that would be nice Omega fireball. level 20. well i mean when you have fireball you can cast it at that i've already that i know can. i know i you know i'm just trying out right now there are two spells that could be interesting in there but that's that's about it so far Anyway, at level 20, uh, you have a lot of in more interesting stuff. Yeah. Do I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I checked it out, but real quick, because there was so much stuff to read. So much. Yeah, you can't Beyond, to be honest, it. Zook is not built to uh, last till, you know, a couple level max, because he, he's probably gonna die at some point i'm i'm fine with it i i made him in my mind to act you know create problems not care good oh, okay Could you... yeah if you blow yourself up i won't be able to help oh come on can you at least try push the uh you know it's like a puzzle just push all the pieces you, push the right you, the you can heal me as long as I'm breathing. <laughs> I can't bring I... you back to life, but I can prevent you from dying in any means. But there we go. I'm, I'll I'm, keep your head in a bottle. Or I want to die, Sema. I'm, it's, I'm it's done. There's nothing. No! God damn it! You stay with me. <laughs> I'm just a head in the jar. That would be funny. That would be really funny. But I can't find it, so I'll have to check. A head in the jar. I need to have oh. that. Can you still cast spell being just a head in a jar? Also, well, that works. If they're verbal, well, yeah. 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 If there's yeah. no soma soma somatic, somatic component. Yeah. Uh, did you find the two spells? I can't find it. I don't know where I know I put that down. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll have to look. Uh, next time we can start with yeah. that. If you want to. Yeah. No. Uh, no issues. I'm good with that. Yeah. Find the Simple. spells and also look into uh, copying some. Yeah. Remember that copying you need material for it. Uh, I need. Yeah. I have. Uh, I have ink. I have parchment. I have my spell book. What am I missing? What do you need to copy? It's just that the ink uh, is um, like you need fifty gold worth of it. Oh, I got ten worth. Okay, so I'm not gonna copy. I guess I'll just uh, identify. Just did it. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I'll get that for next session. Uh, yeah. And I, I think so that might have missed. Uh, some of the information on the paper that you found in the chest. I don't know if uh, one of you shared share that, well, but in, the right? in theory, he was with you guys, I think. Yeah. Um, oh, we find so. in, in, <laughs> in the yeah. papers there were just information about uh, business and uh, slave. Selling things and selling slaves and people. That yeah, basically oh. the one we just buried. Yeah. Oh, slaves! And I'm okay with a bag of holding. And the bag of holding. Yeah. And did you did you it. mark down the thirty-one silver? No, thirty-one gold, one silver. Samet. Nope. And also, you don't know where our copper is. 
Yeah, we lost. Yes, copper. copper. We we don't find copper. Did we just burn him? <laughs> Could be. Might have burned him. Thirty-one gold and how many silver? One. All right, so that's it for today. We'll pick yep. that up uh, back next uh, in two weeks. Yep. Well, thank you guys. Already done. All right. Yeah. See you guys. Good luck. A good Bye -bye. week. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.